The number of monkeypox cases in our state right now stands at 210, and Coloradans of cover, color are disproportionately seeing high rates of transmission and low vaccination rates. According to data from state health officials, white Coloradans make up 53% of all cases. They also represent 67% of Colorado's total population. Black Coloradans make up 13% of the cases, despite just making up 4% of our population. And Hispanic or Latino Coloradans make up 33% of cases, despite representing 22% of the state population. Accessible health care also making it more difficult for these communities to get vaccine access. And Denver 7's Micah Smith spoke to two organizations hoping to help. We're always disproportionately impacted. James Greer is talking about the inequities in health care for black Coloradans. And so that's where I think in health care we need to focus our energies is how do we target those markets. And he would know he is the senior vice president of operations for Vivent Health. Vivent Health is an HIV medical home. Even before the disproportionate impacts of monkeypox or MPV on people of color and the LGBTQIA plus community, his clinic has already started Started preparing. And we have our on-site testing here now as we are transitioning into this world of monkeypox. Greer says they are also using partnerships made during the pandemic. CDPHE has brought in about 60 plus partners and we all meet on a weekly basis. CDPHE updates us on the information that they have, we update them on what we're learning because we're all trying to do this together. There's only so many vaccines. It has to do with resources. It has to do with access to health. Tony Baruti, Center for African American Health Board Chair, says MPV's impact on black communities is not a result of genetics or being more susceptible, but a result of accessible health care. When we talk about access, it's really looking at the communities itself and what resources are coming into those communities. We have federal funds that are set aside specifically for um, health equity. But Baruti says that funding doesn't always trickle down. One thing that we would like to say to the state local leaders is that currently there's no funding for community outreach for vaccinations um, for monkeypox. Baruti says combining state funding and the trust they've already built in black and brown communities could help nonprofits like hers reach patients that are most at risk. Reporting in Denver, Micah Smith, Denver 7.